'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Children were nestled all snug in their beds, while vi visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her handkerchief and, and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, they crossed such a clatter. I sprang to the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, or opened the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses that they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof as I drew in my hand and I was turning around down the chim chimney St. Nicholas came with a bow. He was dressed in all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished and with ashes and soot. A couple of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His roll like mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it, uh, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook and made laugh like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Um, he spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, and turned with a jerk, laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle, but I heard him exclaim, here he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night.